I'm Linda London, and this is London Stringed Instrument Repair. Well, I was playing classical guitar, and my husband was trying to uh, find me a good classical guitar to play, and he went shopping and he couldn't find anything, so he was the kind of guy that built and did everything, and didn't matter, you know, he'd just read about it, and he had a lot of skills, and he said, well, I'll just build you one. Well, the more he got to researching, the more he realized that he wasn't capable of building me a guitar. So in the interim, he liked banjo. And he said, well, banjo, they're all hardware. He said, I can build you a banjo. I can build a banjo, and I'll learn to play banjo. Well, one thing led to another, and the next thing you know, we had a shop upstairs, and we started up there, and we're there for about, well, I guess about three, four years, and then we moved down here, so. Uh, just a couple weeks ago, a guy come in with a, uh, I love these, where they come in with uh, pieces to a guitar, and it's in a paper sack. When it restored, those are, especially the older they are, the better I like them. I like to bring things back from the 1800s. And a while back, um, a guy came in with a harp guitar, and he had a complete history. It was in his family since uh, 1903, I believe. And um, it was only there were only three of them made, and he's got the full documentation on it and pictures of his family that had it. And I loved restoring it because it was in terrible shape. But I didn't do anything to the finish or anything. I just made it playable again, and it's really neat. The best part was seeing all the pictures and the documentation on it. That's got some history there, you know. When you touch it, you just know where it's been. I would go crazy if I didn't have this place, so. That's one thing, being in business and this type of business, you developed a your customers turn into a lot of your friends, and so I have a lot of people just come in and hang out because that's what they've done for <laughs> 40 years, you know. Yeah, and when I lost my husband and wife, it hadn't been for, like Steve Hansen who was teaching upstairs, and some of my other customer friends coming in to help me out, I probably wouldn't have made it, but they were my, my moral support, you know, so. 71, I'll be 72. I figure I'll be like Mrs. B at Nebraska Furniture Mart. I'm going to be one of those old gals who'll be tooting around here on a motorized chair. You know, I can fix your guitar. 